this video, we'll take a look in more detail at the Documents section. This is a very flexible section that allows us to add a variety of data. Since we closed our last experiment, let's clone it to create a new experiment and then add some documents to it. So once cloned, we navigate to the Documents section. We can browse for documents or simply drag them in. So here I've added a PDF, a Word file, a GenBank file, and a GraphPad Prism file. Any kind of document can be added and many can be previewed. So for the Word document, for example, you're now seeing a preview using Office 365. For those of you not on the cloud, you would see a simple inline document preview. To edit a document, we simply open that document. So I'll first edit the Word document, in this case in Word Online, but if you prefer, this can also be in the desktop application. In this case, I notice that a couple of the animal IDs are incorrect. So I simply make the changes necessary and then close the document. The ELN is automatically updated. Similarly, while we don't currently see a preview of the PRISM file, which is a work in progress, we can still open, edit, and capture changes here as well. In this case, I want to correct a mistake with one of my starting concentrations. Finally, for the GenBank file, which on my machine is associated with the SnapGene program, again, I can open and, if necessary, make changes and save back to the ELN. Finally, let me show you how we treat Excel files. Excel is a very common way to exchange data between scientists, labs, and CROs. And the ELN allows you to register known standard Excel templates and then when one of those is encountered, the Excel file is not only loaded and saved in the ELN as is, but the data is also parsed directly into the experiment. So in this case, I create a new experiment using a different template. And then drag in my Excel file. As you see, it's a recognized format, so the data is parsed out for my inspection. If all is good, I can upload it into the experiment database. Now, not only is the document available, but also the individual data available for further calculations and for searching.